Okay, it's a new day. The boys had been hard at work this last time. We didn't video it, but they got the floor pans, all the flooring junk torn out. I'll cut to some pictures, but we're gonna get the rest of the carpet junk out, and then they're gonna tear out this junk headliner that's just totally rotted so we can prepare for putting our wannabe dynamat in. I say wannabe, but I put kill mat in the Nova. It turned out awesome. So I found some stuff on Amazon from Amazon Basics that looks just like it. So this is the Amazon Basics stuff. It is so similar. It has a peel back and then you've got your um, oh, asphalt sticky barrier. But anyway, it is so similar to the kill mat I put in the 68 that and the job was so much more worth it. So Ram is shredding, gutting this pig, right? Yeah. Yeah. It is nasty. We should probably be wearing masks, but we're not that bright and I don't have masks because I'm anti-mask. Get it? Anti-mask. It's not much to look at. It's pretty disgusting, but this is some good footage for before and after. Rem's working on getting the headliner torn out. I know we're probably doing it wrong, but this thing is uh, so nasty that we're gonna get it coming out and then we'll get the new one ordered and we'll try not to have crap fall on our face, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're hoping to get it all out and maybe even uh, possibly scuff up the interior doors and grill and get that shot in uh, gloss black gonna look good all right getting stuff done it's nasty but it has to come out finding surprises huh Rem? yeah look like somebody's been in the back of this car putting galvanized sheets down probably if i was guessing it rusted out from leaking through the window but that's what you do my back hurts bro <laughs> Oh man, it's gonna be worth it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got the first screws out, so you're gonna see what I see, what's under here, in real time. Oh man, they glued it down good. Sweet. Okay, scratch that, gotta get a tool. Yeah. yeah. see once we get these other two panels off so let's get those off and see what else they were covering up there might be a giant rusted hole in the middle yeah yep that's what i thought that is rusting through from water coming in, sitting on it and just turning it into Swiss cheese. So they wanted to sure it up with some galvanized apparently. We'll have to think on that. We may vacuum that all out and put these panels back in and cover them up. We're in a dry area here. We will never have this problem ever again in St. George, Utah. Boom. Doing good? Yeah. So what we're finding is we probably are going to need to do some welding. That's the ground you can see out there. I would suck to be driving down the road, down these illustrious St. George roads that are so smooth and have your battery drop onto the ground and see it sliding across the street as your engine comes to a stop. So a little fabrication, a little fixing up. Good as new. Taking apart the back seat, 
Check this out. The cool stuff you find when you're taking apart a 1971 Volkswagen. We'll save that and we'll put it back in there just so in case on the next restoration somebody finds it. They'll be just as elated. How you doing, buddy? Alright. Alright. Both my knees just pop. Both your knees pop. Yeah. 6'3 doing disassembly in a VW. We're getting all organized so we can put it back together. Wait for some parts to get here. Rock and roll. All right. Half a garbage can full of interior guts. Remington, he's got his headphones in, but he is prepping so that we can shoot the dash and the inside doors black. Gloss black with a flat gray outside is gonna look good. How's it coming? Good. Can you see through your uh, hair? Yeah. <laughs> gonna be sick gloss black in here huh yeah, yeah buddy hard work huh oh. it'll be worth it it's another day working on the super beetle ram is prepping for our carpet by getting the old um, glue out so we've sanded the doors we're gonna paint the inside gloss black it's gonna be fire huh buddy yeah. and then I'm gonna show you a little before and after on this inside we might not have time or the money to do a headliner in this thing before he turns 16 in three weeks. So there's an after. We're going to go over it all in sandpaper so it'll take paint good. Etching primer. But there is before, after. So the prep is coming along nicely. Got a little bit of rust repair to do. Already cut out my panel there, gotta make a new one. But we are making big progress on this today. Boom. Boom. Oh, I like it. Yep, just like that. What's up? We're getting ready to paint the inside and we're getting close. I think we're gonna get primer on it today. We finally got Cooper out here. It's now 1 p.m. Rem and I have been out here since about 9.30, hence all the work that's getting done. Ram actually beat me out of bed today, which is a miracle. <laughs> Do up inside here where we took out the door seal because we're going to put a new rubber door seal. We want the black sprayed right up under there. So when we put the door seal in, it looks like it came from the factory that way. We actually found factory paint runs under the dash from the factory yellow. We're smoothing that out. It's going to be nicer than when it came out of Germany. Which isn't saying a lot because they produce these like in mass, like millions of them. I don't know what the actual number is. You should Google it. Okay, bud? Yeah. Can I get some water? Yeah. No. No water for the slaves. No water for the slaves. <laughs> <laughs> no water for camera woman. Oh. Camera woman can have whatever she wants. Your face. You thirsty? You want water? Should I get you some? You can't go inside because you're filthy, huh? All right, I'll get you water.
Thanks. 30 minutes is a lot of work. <laughs> How's it going, Coop? Good. Working real hard? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently you're repelling the women. They're not gonna ride it with you because they don't like you. <laughs> Why don't they like me? I don't know, that's what your brother said. <laughs> Wanna fight? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Rem's the one with the power tools. I think he would win. <laughs> what are you doing, Coop? Tape. What's it called? Tape. Masking. Why are we masking, Cooper? To paint. Yeah. Making progress. Yeah. <laughs> Getting some masking done. Yeah, we'll Look at these done. pretty masking hands. <laughs> oh yeah. We're gonna paint today. So we've prepped all the surfaces with 320. Pulled the door seals. Everything that was shiny is now dull and ready to paint. The dirty parts obviously are gonna have the door panel in, so we're not worried about that, but rolled around the corner, feathered out the scratches, and we'll get to the dash another day, but we're gonna shoot the doors because we're getting impatient and wanna see some progress. So now that we're all messed off, mm -hmm. We're using some grease and adhesive remover or degreaser and prepping the surface so there's no oils or fingerprints. And then we will shoot it with some self-etching primer. And then we'll follow up with gloss black. It's gonna look awesome. Probably gonna go like at an angle like this. And the first coat isn't to make it wet. We want it just to get a guide coat, like something to stick down to, okay? Okay. So we'll just start. See that? How we're not covering up the yellow? Yeah. But we've got some material down. That's yeah. what we're shooting for on this first pass. Okay. Just short little spurts. And we're trying to get down into that groove where we're going to want it to be all good and covered, right? Yeah. Then we're going to work up to the top. We're not worried about overspraying this car because we're going to sand and paint the whole exterior later. So okay. that's why we haven't masked the rest of the car. Okay. We got respirators on because you shouldn't breathe this stuff. Yeah. Is it okay that I can still smell it? Yeah. Yeah, you'll still be able to smell it. Because it smells like microscopic. Well, uh -huh. because these aren't real expensive masks either, but they do a decent job. We'll get the bottom here in just a second. We just want to make sure you remember to not miss any parts. Okay. We're going to walk up here. When we do a wet coat, we won't do these short little sprays. Okay? Uh -huh. And once it dries, it'll actually just wipe right off. So that is basically our first little guide coat because it's so thin. Uh -huh. We really don't have to wait very long for the next coat. By the time we get done with the other thing, uh -huh. we can go back and start doing the next one. 
a couple minutes in between and it depends on the temperature outside and it's kind of cold out here but because it's so thin until we do the wetter coats we won't have to wait that long okay. should i go get gloves on right. press and then start you don't want to and don't don't start and stall because it'll build up right there and it'll drip so Okay. Yep, and a little more depressed. It kind of sounds like it's not quite all the way pushed down. Let's go again. There you go. Okay, you're ready. Just wipe the tip. See how they got all the paint off of it and it's nice and clean. Now you can go do that light guide coat on the door over here. So do I want to push light or do I want to push fully? Push the same, just be a little faster and a little less. Okay. Do I do it like that or what? Uh, yeah. And then... Make sure you move as soon as you go on it. See how you kind of rolled up? Yeah. So, this one again. so if I'm going to do this right here, uh -huh. I want I want this just like that. So I'm going to go start up here. And see how it's just very misted on? Uh -huh. That's what I want you to do to everything. So I don't want to be like very close at all? Six to eight inches, which is basically like that. Okay. So now that's done. Now, do this top bit. Okay. A little slower. Watch what the paint's doing. So, as you go, so you're gonna go. See that? Not quite. You're gonna do that same thing all the way down, and then you're gonna get in down in here, and then go across here. And just kind of make sure that you get up, down, I don't feel across. comfortable doing this. I don't want to mess it up. Oh, I mean, we can sand it up if it gets messed up, but you won't. It's fine. It's just paint. It's just paint. Don't worry. It's just paint. Okay. So go right you're going to get this kind of a covering all over everything that's yellow, except probably see that down here. So go ahead, and I'll give you some pointers as you go. It's too thick. I don't know. I'm scared. So watch this. I'm going to do this right here. I start kind of off the car. See? It's just doing that. And then see how light it is right here? I need to get up on top of it a little bit too. And then I want to get up in here. And then I want to get up at the top. See how it just keeps feathering on just a little light dusting? That's all you're doing. That'd be good. Just paint. It's not supposed to look perfect. Yeah, this this pass isn't perfect. Okay. If you're not comfortable, I'll do the black when it comes time for the final coat, but you'll get comfortable doing it. You can't ruin this step. Yeah, I can't ruin any of it. You can totally sand it off. Sand it. So, it's not so we're basically doing all of this. This side. Top, bottom. Go ahead. Do we want to get underneath the seal at all? Yeah. So this part, see how much better it looks on the second pass? It's just building up and doing layers. But you don't want to rush it and do too much on each layer or else it'll run, but you're doing perfect. What you doing, Ram? Uh, trying to <laughs> stick tape. Masking off the bug. It's all hands on deck. Have you ever seen when, like, at the circus, when how many clowns can fit in a Volkswagen? <laughs> One, two, three, and then oh, four. four. And they're not. And we're not even full. Look, they're not even little clowns. Okay. There's a chemistry with Grandpa. There's a uh, screwdriver right there. Open it up. We're ready to mix the epoxy primer. We're all masked off. 
degreased. Gonna get it all shot so we can put the black on. It's gonna look good. Lots of sanding. Not even amazing sanding, just lots of it. Yeah, it looks good. You just did, Dad just did the back. Like from here, back. on tape <laughs> she's black but we got some fixing to do look at that run insert swear words so we'll sand those down and then we'll shoot it with black paint this is epoxy primer but interior is ready for paint pretty much boom <laughs> 